Now, the reading on the role of solar energy has four main big ideas that we need to be thinking about as we read through these paragraphs. How does energy from the sun come to the earth? How does it how does that happen? How does it get through space? How does solar energy transfer to Earth's matter into the Earth, to the surface of the Earth, into the atmosphere? And then what is the effect of the sun's energy on Earth's atmosphere? And finally, how does solar energy affect Earth's weather and climate? Uh, the paragraphs in this reading take a look at each one of these questions. So let's get started. So this is paragraph one. Let's mark this paragraph one, and let's read. The sun is an important source of energy. Every day the sun's energy travels through space in the form of solar radiation. Three different types of solar radiation make up sunlight. Infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation, and visible light. Solar radiation moves in waves. We cannot see waves of infrared radiation, but we feel it as heat. Infrared radiation is a lower energy wave with a longer wavelength. Ultraviolet radiation is the portion of sunlight that burns or tans our skin. It is a higher energy wave with a shorter wavelength. And then finally, visible light makes up only the portion of solar radiation that our eyes can see. It falls between infrared and ultraviolet in strength and wavelength. Take your green colored pencil. Let's get some connections to these key words. So, solar radiation. Three different types of solar radiation make up sunlight. So, solar radiation is actually three types. And we'll talk about those in just a moment. Infrared radiation, we feel it as heat. It's a lower energy wave, longer wavelength. Infrared radiation. Ultraviolet radiation, it's a portion of the sunlight that burns or tans our skin. It's a higher energy wave and a shorter wavelength, and then finally visible light is the part that we can see. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like in a sketch. So we have the sun and we have the surface of the earth and we have three different types of solar radiation, three different wavelengths. We have long waves, we have medium waves, and we have short waves. So short waves are ultraviolet, long waves are infrared, And medium waves are visible light. So take a moment and get this little sketch down that shows the different types of wavelength. And while you're getting that down, short waves, ultraviolet waves, you cannot see, and they burn. Infrared waves, or long waves, you cannot see, and they provide heat. Visible light or medium waves are reflected off of matter. Okay, please get these this uh, sketch done and everything marked. And this is Earth. and we will go back and look at the paragraph one more time. So pause the video and make sure that you have all this down. 
Okay, you will notice that I have all the original markings removed because I want to make sure that with blue we get some of these main ideas. The sun is an important source of energy. The main source of heat for Earth. And then there are three types of solar radiation. And they are infrared, ultraviolet, invisible light. I know these are double underlining uh, with some of your other underlining. And then remember that solar radiation moves in waves. And these are actually waves of photon light particles from the sun. Okay, and then make sure you get the different types of radiation noted, and we will move on to paragraph two.